So I managed to make a game in seven days, in four days, but now I'm going to make a game in one day. Well, one and a half. Anyway, I joined another game jam and managed to make a game within that time. Here's how it went. This jam also has a theme and the theme was contagious. I didn't really have any ideas on what I should do, but I do have some characters in mind for the art. I went for a much more simple art style since I didn't want to spend too much time drawing, but I drew up some slugs, if you could call them that. There's a green one which would be infected, and the rest are normal slugs. I thought that maybe you could control an infected slug and try to infect as many other slugs in like a top-down view. Yeah, I, j I couldn't get this to work. Making AI is still a bit difficult for me, and I just couldn't get it working the way I wanted it to. So I just tried brainstorming some ideas for what I could possibly do instead and finally went with a puzzle game. I trashed all of the old code but kept the slugs in and made this top-down based grid movement. I thought of making the game about infecting all the slugs in your area and you would be able to move multiple slugs at a time but trying to make that work wasn't easy. In fact, I never finished it. It was just so buggy and I just couldn't figure out how to get it to work properly. So I just went with a more simple idea, where you control only one slug, but you're not really controlling a slug, you're controlling a parasite, and you would have to pass on to other slugs and reach your end goal. So I made some slugs that move only after you move, they will move left or right, and if they bump on a wall, they will decide to move the other way. This slug AI had some issues too, like completely stopping when two of them are trying to move against each other, and some other things like if two of them were to move in the same space, they would just become one slug. But yeah, I managed to fix everything except the merging thing, but yeah, I'm just gonna avoid that by not putting any slugs in a way so that they will cross each other's paths. I also made it so that if you bump into a regular slug, the parasite will pass onto them and leave the old body dead. Which right now is just a red slug, but I'll make a proper sprite for it later. Anyway, the dead slug does block your path, so I thought this would make for some interesting puzzles. Also made it so that if a moving slug trying to walk into your space, you get deleted. I wasn't very happy with the colors I used for the slugs, so I just went to low spec and got a neon color palette, which had exactly the type of colors I was looking for. I also made better looking ground tiles and made a proper dead slug sprite. And added those little things on the slug's head. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, I added all of that into the game and it started to look a lot better. Also, I drew up some sprites for an apple and a bush for the slugs to eat. I don't think slugs eat apples though, but I'm gonna leave that in anyway. I only have one day to make a game and yeah, I can't make everything make sense. But the bush will basically act as the end of the level that you would have to reach. Even added some nice squishy animations for when the slugs move. And then I tried to make them face the direction they were moving, but accidentally made them moonwalk. But yeah, I fixed that. And, and then I added animations for many other things in the game, and it started to look really good. Now to make puzzles more interesting. Your movements are now limited. You can only move up to 5 times before the slug dies. I added a little bar to indicate how many moves you have left, but there are ways to extend this time. One way is by passing on the parasite to another slug, which completely resets the timer, and the other way is to eat apples. So now we have some resource management in the game. I also made a little happy dance animation for the slug if you reach the end of the level and made it work. Also try to make some particles for when you eat the leaves. For a final extra mechanic, I added buttons that you can trigger by standing on them and they will activate or deactivate these walls. They can also be triggered by other slugs so I could 
basically do things like timers. The game is also very silent right now, so let's add some sound effects. I tried doing what I usually do, go to SFXR and generate retro sound effects, but I've been doing that so much I got bored of it and want to try other ways of making sound effects. So I went to websites like Zapsplat and Pixabay to gather some random sounds and putting them into Audacity and then editing them until I found something that sounds good. I found a random clock ticking sound effect and I cut it up to make sounds for the slugs moving and dying. Also found an eating sound effect which I used for, well, eating. And I don't think I'd have the time to make music for this, so I just went and found some ambient noises as if you're out in a garden at night. And I put them all together and the game started to feel really fun to play. I quickly put together a main menu and decided to call the game Paraslug. It's Parasite and Slug put together. And I started adding levels and even made this little transition that happens every time you switch to a new level or restart. But yeah, now I have all these mechanics in place. All I have to do now is start designing levels. managed to make 10 whole levels and post it on HIO 7 hours early. The jam ends at 3am and I was too tired to stay up that long to keep improving the game. So I just uploaded it now so that I can get my friends to play it and make some quick improvements. I had to add little tips because some of the mechanics like infecting another slug wasn't clearly explained and some people found the game pretty difficult and others found it really easy. But yeah, overall, people did enjoy the game, and after constantly making more little improvements, I ended on a version that I was happy with, and I was finally free to relax and not work on a game for a day straight. But let's quickly get to the results. And since you read the title, you already know what happened. Paraslug won, getting first place for concept, audio, polish, and functionality. This is only my third game jam, and yeah, I'm really happy to win. If you want to try the game yourself, the link will be in the description, and let me know what you think about the game. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, as always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. And if you would like to see how I made a farming roguelike game in a week, then check out this video. And that's it.